Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know, it's your boy Vic Saint Hope. And I'm trying something new again. You know, I'm always trying something new. Um, people told me to do something about reaction videos. Um, I don't really want to do reaction videos. I feel like everybody does reaction videos. And I know I'm, I will have my own spin on them. But something that I thought about doing is like music, right? I thought about like going into like the music of some of these artists. And kind of like talking about the lyrics and the stuff that they are saying in their songs. So I'm going to give that a shot. Y'all let me know if y'all like it, if y'all messing with it. So, you know, this is this is the first song that I'm going to do. And y'all just let me know if y'all fucking with it. If y'all not, y'all not. And that's cool, you know. But just let me know. I'm just trying something new. And I want y'all to listen to the lyrics. I'm going to pause the song a few times and talk about it. But I want y'all to really listen to the words and what is being said. So, we're going to start it right now. Hey. Let me kick it to you right quick, man. Not on some gangster shit, man. On some real shit. Real shit. Everybody done been through the same thing. I'm sure you feel the same way. Big Phil, it's for you, Pimpy. Now, if y'all don't know who Big Phil is, this is T.I.'s homie who got killed. Um, when he was on trial testifying, he was testifying about, like, the situation that happened. I don't know if he told on who did it, but, you know, um, that was his homie that died. So this was, like, for Big Phil. You know what I'm saying? You know what's so crazy? Cause he talking about like, you know, like you think about them days like you wish you would have stayed home. Like, you know, he talking about walking past a group of dudes, you know what I'm saying, words get exchanged, and now it gets past the the words, the the, the arguing, and now y'all getting it on. You know what I'm saying? Like and it's so deep because so many situations like that happen in the hood where like you you mind your business or you just walk into a block or you walk into a certain neighborhood and dudes just start mouthing off or dudes trying to act tough, dudes trying to press you like, yo, who you are, where you from? And then like, you, you know, sometimes you just can't help but to get into a situation. And it's crazy because, you know, he talking about that. He was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just, they just getting the hate on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then it gets way past discussion. You know what I'm saying? You know, and then he also mentions like, you know, when you're about to get jumped, you pick one person and then you rush him and you just, you just worrying about that person, but you don't know what other people have. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then he talks about like, you know, getting shot. One of them got a gun. You didn't know they had a gun. You get shot. Like, now you're in a wheelchair. Like, you know, and now you think about like, damn, it all started like of an argument that maybe you could have just ignored, kept walking, kept it pushing. But like this, this, this song is something that like, that was a big eye opener for me, you know? And I think like this album, Paper Trail was, was, was very good. Because T.I. got locked up and he was going through this shit with the guns. So it kind of allowed him to reflect and be accountable to a lot of things if you listen to the album Paper Trail. But we're going to get back to it. Them pick one in Russia, pick a you get your head ass next. So they don't want to stop there now, they bust it. Now you gush it. I'm a land rushing you to the hospital with a bad concussion. Plus, you hit four times, put a hit your spine. Paralyzed way down in your wheelchair bound. Never mind that now, you lucky to be alive. Just think it all started, you fussing with three guys. And your pride in the way, but your pride is the way you can fuck around, get shot, die in the day. Niggas die every day. All of the bullshit. Dope money, dice game, ordinary hood shit. Could this. You know, it's so crazy because. He said your pride in the way. And I always talk about the pride being in the way in a lot of situations. And he talking about that, like, you know, your pride in the way. So your pride leads you to certain shit. And then he also mentions, like, you know, when you're back against the wall, niggas just start shooting. Like, you know, kind of like what I mentioned with my situation, right? Like, sometimes your back is to the wall and you live in the hood and, and you just you just got to do something. Something just got to be done. And it's unfortunate that we live in these circumstances and these situations. But he was saying some real shit, like, you know, pride be in the way, your back be against the wall. And he was just saying, like, dudes be shooting for nothing, for red or for blue or for blow, I guess. You know what I'm saying? For drugs, for gangs. Like, he was just saying some real shit, man. Uh, you know, check it out. Because of hip hop music, did the ones with the good sense not use it, usually. See, he said, could it be because of hip hop music? A lot of people blame music for the shit that they do. You know, um, so he's saying, could it be because of hip hop music or, or did the ones with the good sense not use it? You know what I'm saying? Like, so he he's saying a lot of real shit. I think this is one of, like, the realest songs T.I. put out, but let's get back to it. 
Don't know what to do when you're back against the wall, so the jet starts shooting. For red, for blue, or for blow, I guess. From bank head up to your project. Hey, no more straight. Now I'm straight. Now I get it. Now I take time to think before I make mistakes just for my family's sake. That part of me left yesterday. The heart of me is strong today. No regrets. I'm blessed to say the old me dead and gone away. You know, that was deep because he's taking accountability in a way. You know, he's also saying like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm I'm ready to put my life on the line and just live for my family, you know? And he's saying, like, you know, and he also said from from Bankhead out to, your pro, out to your projects, you feel me? Like, so it's like, this is some shit that's going on in every ghetto. Like, it's the same circumstances. Black people are going through the same shit in every ghetto. Um, So, yeah, it was, it was, I love this song, man. Like, he really giving us mad jewels. And I don't think if a lot of people picked it up, picked up on it, it's old. But, like, I feel like it's the same shit going on. You feel me? Like, we could always pick up from it. So, let's get back to it. Could have been there looking back at it. Most of that shit didn't even have to happen. But you don't think about it when you're out there trapping in apartments, hanging, smoking, and rapping. Niggas start shit. Next thing you know, we kept and get locked up. Then didn't even get mad. Now think about it, damn, what a life I had. Most of that. See, he's saying some real shit again. He's saying, like, when you out there in the field, you're not thinking about this shit. You're not thinking about the repercussions. You're not thinking about. What's going to come from this? You're not thinking about how your family going to suffer. You're not thinking about how your mans could die. You're not thinking about how you could die. You're not thinking about the shit that's going to happen. We don't think about a lot of this shit. You feel me? Like, and he's just reflecting on a lot of things. And I think like self-reflection is the key to a lot of things, man. And I just think we just need to be better at self-reflecting, man. But let me get back to the song because the song is fire. Shit look back, just laugh. Some shit still look back, get sad. Maybe my homeboy still be around. Had a night, hit the nigga in the mouth that time. I won that fight, I lost that war. I can still see my nigga walking out that door. Man, who'd have thought I'd never see for line no more? Got enough dead homies, I don't want no more. How's a nigga his? You hear that shit? That shit was like the realest shit he said. Like, like he really said, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe his homie still be around if he never hit son in the mouth that time. Like, he was saying, I won that fight, but I lost that war. You know what I'm saying like, and that's deep. Like he taking deep accountability. Like his man's died, and I don't know if he died because of him, but it sounds like he did. Like you feel me? He's saying like, you know, maybe my homeboy still be around if I never hit son in the mouth. Like you feel me? And sometimes we get into situations like that where we wild out and we don't think about the repercussions, and and you know sometimes do spin the block. Like it's not always about you. Sometimes they can't catch you, and they catch your man's, or they catch your mom's, or they catch your family, or they catch whoever they catch. Like because people be thinking like that, and. You know, I, I just thought that was deep. And again, like, he was being accountable. And I just made a video talking about accountability. And this is why I like this song so much, because he's being accountable. He's talking about accountability. We have to be accountable, man. We have to be accountable. Word. Oh, cost me more. I'd have took that ass up and down for sure. Now think before I risk my life. Take them chances to get my strike. A nigga put his hands on me, all right. Otherwise, then they'll talk shit all night. Because I hit you, and you sue me. I shoot you, get locked up, who me? No more strength. That's some real shit, too. Like, and that's some type of time that I'm on. Like, I'm not sitting here arguing with nobody. I'm not sitting here trying to prove who's who got the biggest balls. Like, because a lot of dudes be out here trying to sword fight each other, face fight, mean mug. I'm not into that, man. Like, as long as you don't try to put your hands on me or try to harm me or my family and my loved ones, like, I really don't care what you say. You can sit here and say whatever you say. Like, it is what it is. Like, back in the days, yeah, I would feed into that. You know, we, we fight over words. We People kill each other over words. Like, and he's just saying, like, yo, I'm, I don't care what you say about me, man. You can say whatever you say about me. Like, at the end of the day, just just don't put your hands on me. You know, like, and that's real shit. I think more people should be that way. Now I'm straight. Now I get it. Now I take time to think before I make mistakes just for my family's sake. That part of me left yesterday. The heart of me is strong today. No regrets. I'm blessed to say the old me dead and gone away. Oh, hey. I think that's the last verse after that he don't really say much um it's just justin timberlake and then it's just like you know but it's, it's just a self-reflective song um so 
you know, let me know what y'all think. Should I keep doing these? Should I be doing different songs? Like, I have other songs in mind, too, that I want to break down the lyrics because I feel like they were saying some official stuff. And I feel like sometimes what these rappers say be going over our heads. So, but let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know in the comment section if y'all messing with it. If it's whack, it's whack. If it's lit, it's lit. And then, you know, we'll go from there. You know what I'm saying? But peace.